Hi again. <clears throat> as you know, I've been trying to do some uh, electronics just as a hobby and fun stuff. So um, I finally completed this uh, this project, which is a voltage multiplier. Um, it's not a voltage doubler because it doesn't double actually double the the capacity of the battery. It's using a 9 volt battery which is in this compartment over here. Um, well, there you go. You have a 9 volt battery there. And uh, uh, the schematics actually work. As you can see I have here a switch which goes, uh, you can boost it, uh, you can um, turn it on to high there's the light, turn it off, and turn it low. And of course here you have the two lugs, which is one is the positive, one is the negative, and of course the power indicator over here. Um, the, uh, the person who drew the schematics or made the schematics said it's a voltage multiplier, which is the correct term because it doesn't double the 9 volt the output but actually considering that the capacitor and the diodes uh, plus the wires have resistance um, the 9 volts uh, you will on the low side you will get something between 17.5 and below um, and on the high side uh, uh, Theoretically, you should be getting 27 volts. You'll be probably getting 26.5 or 26 volts. But then, uh, it's a fun project, actually. And, uh, well, uh, as you can see in the, eventually in the uh, end of the video, the how I did it, uh, I learned, it's a self-thought, okay? I. I etched the PC board myself, made the schematic diagram uh, to fit the to fit the board and on this case. The case itself uh, I bought at Fry's plus the switch of course and the rest of the stuff on uh, most electronic shop. Uh, let's give it a try anyway. Um, I'll have to hook this up on the low side since uh, this is just a test board for uh, LEDs and you'll notice it's got a it's got a resistor over here so that it uh, since the output it's not a fresh battery okay um, I think it's running on 825 volts right now because I've been playing around with it but uh, let's hook it up uh, I'll show you how it is. I'll have to hook it up on the low side, of course, because uh, obviously the resistor won't be able to uh, uh, put down the voltage uh, safely for the high side. All right, that's hooked up. Okay, I'll switch it to the low side, and you'll see the LED light. There you go. I'm not sure if the camera is gonna it's gonna wash out the color, but yeah. And of course, you can see the power indicator over here. As soon as I switch it off, there you go. Uh, it's a fun little project. Uh, I could use this for uh, my other tests for uh, LED arrays and probably uh, uh, to tell you frankly I uh, I hooked up uh, a small 12 volt automatic, automotive battery on this and it did light up on both circuits both high and low uh, but it ran much better uh, on the low side because it was only running on like uh, 16 15 volts which was the actual uh, voltage for that bu light bulb oh you wanted to uh, sorry about that uh, okay 
I have a tester here. Hopefully you can see that. Um, let me get the output voltage for that. Oops, sorry about that. Tripod's not, not stable. Uh, okay, let's go to the Let's go to the high side so you can see, as you can see, it's lighted already. Uh, limited space. Uh, okay, there you go. I have, I still have to mark this, but notice the, I'm getting 22.1 volts on the high side, which is not bad actually. And if I flick the switch, I will be getting a 14.6 volts. Again, this is not a fresh battery I'm using. It will probably get much better um, uh, results using a fresh battery, of course. Um, uh, the schematic at the end of the video will show uh, all the part. Oh, a link to the. A link to the site where I got the schematics for uh, this voltage multiplier. Um, the rest of the stuff uh, just had to be creative by buying some parts like the LED, the uh, terminal lugs, and the switches. Plus, of course, I was I'm still learning how to make a how to etch PC boards properly, but. The results were good actually. Um, some still pictures eventually on how I assembled this. And uh, well, it's a fun project actually. Very nice project indeed. And as I said, it's, it's a nice one. Hey, thanks for looking and you all have a nice day.